So when your boss asks you to go to ED to cut a case of acute appendicitis, what you expect is a patient in the age range of 10 to 20, basically a youngish patient coming in with abdominal pain. So besides abdominal pain, usually the patient will have fever, have nausea, vomiting, have anorexia. Basically just ask everything in the Alvarado criteria and then you won't miss out the history. You also need to think about the differential diagnosis to take additional history to rule out those differential. Lah. For example, atopic pregnancy, ask the last menstrual period or is simply take a UPT, urine pregnancy test, which the ED people usually take before they refer to us. And then also take amylase if the pain is not in right either for some, but more upper to epigastric to hypochondria area. And also ask about prior history of gastritis, food intake, to raw AGE. Sometimes we will order an abdominal x-ray to see if there's anything. Lah. So the auscultation of the abdomen, look for the, listen to the bowel sound. Basically, it will be normal. Lah. Check for right ear for some tenderness, of course. Check for rebound tenderness. Check for guarding, check for mass to pop your abdomen and see if there's an appendic mass. Because when there's an appendic mass, we'll treat it conservatively and not push the patient to operation. So that is a quite important finding. Lah. And of course, you can go look for those appendix signs. The soft signs, the rosting signs, the cough signs, the obturato signs. But remember, the most important thing is still to get the right for some tenderness and to look for the mass. So what will the investigation that we will take? We will take of course FBC if the ED people haven't take it to see the leukocytosis. RP if all patient or you have reason to suspect it will be deranged or in sepsis but usually it's not unnecessary. Core if the patient is old, sepsis or have history of lung bleeding, usually it won't take. GSH is very important since the patient is going to op and please remember to insert a large ball rather than green or grey when you are taking the blood. Ask the patient when is her last meal since we are pushing the patients to operations. Keep the patient nearby mouth and then um, your boss will book for the open appendicectomy. So the post-op management of the patient depends on the findings in the operation. If it is inflamed appendix, we just allow already when patient is fully conscious of the antibiotics, full inspection day 3, allow discharge when the patient pass flatus and BO. We will continue the antibiotic if the appendix is superative or perforated. If the appendix is perforated, we will have to inspect the wound before discharge as the rate of wound breakdown can get up to 40%. And if the appendix is white, find other causes.